Ariana, why don't you begin by telling us about yourself? Yes, absolutely. Um, my first time really working with animals was when I started volunteering at my local dog rescue. I stayed with them for about one and a half years. Following that, when I turned 18, I got a job as an animal care and client um, technician associate at my local animal shelter. I worked there for two and a half years. I absolutely loved it. It was an amazing like personal growth experience. It taught me a lot about the industry as well. I absolutely loved my time there. I, following my graduation from high school in 2016, I went to a local community college, Hudson Valley Community College, and I graduated from there in 2019 with an associates in biotechnology. Um, following that, I came to SUNY Delhi, and I am now studying my passion. I can't wait to graduate and become an LVT, um, pass my BTNE. Uh, I believe I'm taking that in this July, and just really get out there and start working. What are your greatest strengths and what areas do you want to improve on? So I am a patient advocate first and foremost. I always have been at the shelter um, when there were animals that were possibly injured or we had a lot of animals come in that had behavioral issues. Um, I would always step up if, if I thought that they were someone we could work with that I could work with. I would make sure to tell my superiors we need to give this animal a chance like they have an opportunity here to be rehabilitated and I would always make sure to step up and advocate for them. I'm also a stickler for good patient care. Um, I know that I always hold myself accountable when I make a mistake. If I mess something up, I will step up and tell someone when they need to be told. And if um, I know that if I make a mistake and I don't, I don't notice it, I want my coworkers or my supervisors to let me know so that I can fix it in the future. Um, patient care is first and foremost, in, like including patient advocacy. Um, we need to make sure that when they're with us, they're as happy and comfortable as they possibly can be. And if something isn't um, being taken care of in the way that it should, um, it needs to be changed. And I know that for sure. I would also say that I'm very resourceful and adaptable. I am up for any challenge. Basically, I can figure out how to fix things or make things. Um, basically, out of nothing, I made a lot of enrichment to, um, programs and stuff at the shelter. So I really loved doing all of that. Where do you see yourself in the veterinary profession in five years? I don't like to have a super set plan for things. I just know that life is life and things will come at you when you least expect them. I am also engaged. Um, my fiance is in the army, so you, we never know when things might change and he might have to leave and I might have to go with him. But all I know is that as long as I'm given the opportunity for personal and professional growth and I'm being able to help and take care of animals, I will be happy. Um, and I know that with this position, I will be able to do that. I'll be able to grow in this field and I'll learn a lot about myself as well while also being able to do what I love to do, which is take care of animals in need. Explain why effective client communication is important for all members of the veterinary medical team. Effective client communication, I think, is can sometimes be one of the hardest things that we deal with. Um, no matter how fractious an animal might be, sometimes their owner can be, I would say, even more fractious. Um, but effective client communication is, first and foremost, our patients can't speak for themselves. When they come into a sick, we have to rely on their owners to tell us what's going on, what their patient history is, um, if what they're doing right now is acting abnormally for them or if that's just how they are, um, and being able to communicate what we need to do as veterinary professionals in order to help their beloved animal, their fur baby, um, is first and foremost, we can't be throwing medical jargon at them and expect them to answer. And we can't expect when we give them really hard, scary news to react calmly. Um, there may be anger, there may be fear. We have to be very empathetic and understanding. Um, and also just not judging them because like I said, nobody's perfect. Um, people make mistakes, pet owners make mistakes and just making sure that we are, again, empathetic and educating them in a professional manner without belittling them um, 
just giving them the facts and giving them the resources to learn and grow. Um, that's all part of effective client communication, and it starts from the front desk all the way up to the veterinarian. Um, it's a team effort because we can't be the front desk person can't be telling someone one thing and then the veterinarian is telling them another. Uh, we need to be cohesive as a team when delivering that important information. I really appreciate your opportunity um, of this job, you uh, bringing me in for this interview, and I really look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks.